Hello, this is Mr. A with CAPE, Chicago Arts Partnerships and Education, and this is an instructional video on doing a derive in your house. And a derive uh, is a fancy way of saying a walk, a long walk around a familiar place um, so that it becomes unfamiliar. So it's seeing a very, fam usually a very familiar street or neighborhood and walking around it enough and noticing new things that you suddenly see it in a totally new way. Um, and this is a technique, a strategy that came from an artist named Guy Debord, who's no longer with us, but he used to do derives for days and days on end in Paris with his friends. Um, and they would record them in really unusual maps. So maps of feeling um, rather than location. So if that makes any sense. But we're going to do that in a home because, like all of us, um, we're in this place way more than we ever were. Um, and there's so many unfamiliar things about it that we just don't notice. Um, so we're going to go on a little trip. Um, here's what you're going to need. Um, I really highly recommend a flashlight if you have one. And if you want to record your experiences, I have a couple of ideas of how you can do it. But I also think you don't have to because once you've done it, every time you look in these places, on it'll be totally changed. You'll never really see it the same way again. So you could write, you could draw, whatever you're inspired to do, but if not, it's okay because the experience is kind of the most important thing. So without further ado, we're gonna go on our home derive. Okay, so I think um, I'm really interested in this coffee table and the area underneath it by this plant in this mirror which I see every day but I've never actually been underneath it so let's see what happens I've got my flashlight and we're going in okay so oh, it's very tight ah, ah. okay see this is where the flashlight really comes in handy whoa and I see a lot already the first thing I'm noticing is this hibiscus tree which I see every single day, every morning when I go and get my coffee. But normally it's something I look at and it's very beautiful. But now, just for looking at it like this, I really see what it's like from under. So it, it feels very protective and safe. Like if you think about your favorite tree, maybe by your house, if you have a tree near your house, um, and how when you're under it you feel that sense of protection like a canopy. I'm feeling that now for the first time with this tree. So my relationship to it has completely changed. Um, and it also looks much older, like, like much bigger. Uh, the next thing I see is this coffee table, which has this kind of, if you can see this like swooping, suddenly this table now becomes an architectural structure. Look at that. Look at that metal there, this glass layer. Um, it reminds me of a couple of famous modern architecture buildings in New York. So suddenly I'm in New York. And there is a mirror, maybe two mirrors. I mean, this is suddenly I don't know where I am. Um, so we're going to move on. That was that. Oh. Oh, hello. And uh, so let's, we went very low. So now let's go very high. Let's go up here. Again, I've never actually been at eye level here. We have a cat. We have this. We have these masks here. We have this lion. Up here we have, let's look at the fan. Suddenly it's like some kind of a space station or a, really looking at the lines of it, it's really unusual. If you don't think of it as a fan, becomes something else, which I'm thinking is something very, very high-tech and almost space-like. And back there, with the flashlight, I can see into this uh, air conditioning vent, which I've never actually looked in. This is a very important part of my house that I've never seen, that I think some creatures experience insects, you know, that's maybe their home, but I've been totally unaware of it. Um, so this can go on and on. I mean, we can go into this closet. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, it's too messy. I don't want to take you in there. But this can go on for a very long time. This is a short video, but um, I recommend doing this often. You can do it um, for 30 seconds. You can do it for an hour. 
but I highly recommend um, spending a lot of time in a place um, that you don't normally sit with. So if that means maybe having a snack in a corner um, of a storage room that you don't normally see and just spend some time there, suddenly a whole world will open up and you'll feel like you're in a whole new place. So without further, that would be the first a little tutorial <laughs> from quarantine, from my quarantine to yours. And I hope you have a wonderful night and um, be well. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.